Is PSVR 2 going to kill Oculus Quest 2? Which VR headset, the PSVR 2 or the Oculus Quest 2, should you purchase? If supply concerns can be resolved, Sony's headset will debut near the end of 2022. The Oculus Quest 2 is projected to be the main competitor to the virtual reality market, recently rebranded to MetaQuest 2. How do these two headsets contrast though? Welcome back to MetaHub. If you plan to buy these, which VR headset should you pick between PSVR 2 and Quest 2? Watch the video till the end, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel before we begin. Let's go! Let's start by comparing the features and design. Sony unveiled the PSVR 2 headset, similar to the PSVR model. However, according to Sony, the new headset has a thinner, lighter design, with an adjustable headband, adjustable scope area, and an adjustable lens dial. Additionally, a vent should help you stay cool when playing games. A 4K HDR OLED panel with a resolution of 2000 by 2040 pixels per square inch is used by the PSVR 2. 110 degrees of the screen will be visible, and the refresh rate will range from 90 to 120 hertz. In addition, the PSVR 2 has foveated rendering, inside-out tracking, and eye-tracking capabilities. While having a lower resolution per eye than the PSVR 2, the Quest 2 employs an LCD panel that can achieve the same refresh rates. In addition, on Quest 2, there is no eye tracking but inside-out tracking. At 90 degrees, it has a reduced field of view. The PSVR 2 has several sensory enhancements that Sony hopes will improve player immersion. For example, Sony's Tempest 3D audio technology is supported by the PSVR 2, and the PSVR 2 Sense Controller uses haptic feedback, adaptive triggers, and finger tracking. A set of touch controllers, which include a baton-like handle, triggers for your forefingers and grips, face buttons, and analog sticks are included with the Quest 2. You need a PS5 to use the PSVR 2, as opposed to the Quest 2, which is entirely wireless and doesn't need a computer, console, or any other additional hardware. Additionally, a single cable is required for connecting Sony's PlayStation VR 2 to the PlayStation 5. To play some of the more graphically demanding VR games, you may also connect your Quest 2 to a PC. Games Quest 2 already has a sizable library of games to play, and the ability to tie it to a PC that increases the collection even further. Games like Super Hot VR, Tetris Effect, and I Expect You to Die run flawlessly on Quest 2, and no additional hardware is required to play them. But the PSVR 2 will probably host a handful of exclusive games you can only find there, such as Horizon Call of the Mountain, a New Horizon spin-off game. We anticipate that Sony's headgear will also draw some of the most well-liked VR titles, like Beat Saber and Pistol Whip. There's a good chance we'll see updated versions of existing PSVR games that use the PS5 and new technology. Uncertainty compounds the VSVR's compatibility with older titles, but we sincerely hope it is. A broad variety of games to choose from would be available right away, which would benefit early adopters and make the PSVR 2 seem like a more compelling purchase for those who already have a sizable collection of VR games. Here is a list of all PSVR 2 games announced so far, which we hope will grow shortly. Demio. Demio is a VR dungeon crawler developed by Resolution Games, a virtual reality veteran. Since its introduction in 2021, it has done remarkably well on Quest 2 and PSVR headsets, partially due to its basement theme, D&D style gameplay that enables you to team up with pals for a tactical gaming night from a distance. Horizon Call of the Mountain. Contrary to the trailer, Horizon Call of the Mountain is not a hollow VR experience or log flume ride. The first VR adaptation of the Horizon universe won't be a clone. Rather, it will be an authentic story campaign with added material that will take about 7 hours to finish, developed by Sony's first-party Guerrilla Games and Fire Sprite Studios. Resident Evil Village Resident Evil Village, with Capcom bringing a PSVR 2, will, according to Capcom, offer an even deeper immersive VR experience by taking full advantage of these vivid graphics possible with the headset's 4K HDR display, PlayStation VR 2's eye tracking, PS5's 3D audio, and more. Star Wars Tales from the Galaxy's Edge You play a droid repair worker working close to the outer rim in Star Wars Tales from the Galaxy's Edge, an action-adventure game. This will be the first time this run-and-gun, Star Wars-inspired adventure is made expandable outside the meta ecosystem after being released on MetaQuest in 2020. 
Resident Evil 4. Although this particular version of Resident Evil 4 is a different kind of classic zombie shooter, it is already accessible on Quest 2. The game that will be released for PSVR 2 is a remake, so this time we're getting brand new stuff instead of just higher resolution graphics. Firewall Ultra. Although Firewall Ultra is undoubtedly the next entry in the series, it's unclear how much new content we will be receiving with First Contact's Firewall game, which like the original, promises tactical squad-based shooting action across a variety of maps. Legacy maps, characters, and weaponry are anticipated, along with updates and for more of everything in the future. No Man's Sky. The space exploration simulator from Hello Games will be brought to PSVR 2, along with all the subsequent patches and DLC releases that transformed it from a relatively generated empty shell to a world bursting with potential, continuing the story of redemption. The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners Chapter 2 This is a full-fat sequel to The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners, one of VR's most well-liked releases. Similar to the first game in the series, you'll scavenge through a post-apocalyptic New Orleans teaming with competing gangs that you can choose to join or engage in combat with and the undead. Quest 2 is a slouch about specifications, and the headset may be over a year old, but it provides a fantastic experience. In addition, it has the additional benefit of being a wireless device, which no other headset can offer. It has an LCD with a panel resolution of 1832x1920 per eye, as well as 90Hz and 120 panel hertz refresh rates. It has adjustable lens separation and a field of view of 90 degrees. Motion sensors are there, and four cameras for headset or controller tracking. It allows wireless communication, the integrated positional audio, and a battery life of 2 to 3 hours, providing storage at 128 and 256 gigabyte variants. It has a Qualcomm Snapdragon XR2 platform processor. On the other hand, the PSVR2 is an impressive device, and the specs suggest that Sony's headset will be one of the most highly advanced headsets on the market. It has an OLED display, 2000 by 2400 per square eye panel resolution, 90 hertz and 120Hz panel refresh rate with 110 degrees of field of view. The headset also has an adjustable lens separation with motion sensors, including 3-axis gyroscope, 3-axis accelerometer, and 6-axis motion sensing system. Also, there are 4 cameras for headset and controller tracking and an IR camera for eye tracking per eye. The primary function is its built-in microphone for input and stereo headphone jack for output. Price and release date. We're still waiting to learn the precise price of PSVR 2, however, a glance at the launch price of the original PlayStation VR might help us understand what to anticipate. That's if it arrives by late 22 when Sony is rumored to unveil it. A full PSVR package originally cost $499, which isn't cheap. However, keep in mind that a PS5 is required to use it. The PlayStation VR Sense controller will come with a PSVR 2, but at $499, it might be out of reach for some people. Comparatively, the Quest 2's 128GB version is offered at $299, and it was introduced on October 30th, 2020. A 256GB version is also available for $299. The Quest 2 is a standalone device, unlike the PSVR 2, so you may use it without a computer, console, or extra screen. Let us know your preference in the comments below, and subscribe for more.